We, at the Center for Accountability and Transparency, Transparency, Old Matrix Energy Limited and the CEO to tow the path of honor and give up the detailed list of his collaborators and their modus operandi instead of bluffing with litigation and trying to guard the press. Not even the military junta of old were able to repress every vibrant Nigerian press. Not any of them. Since we have seen that Metris Energy Limited and its accomplices, including those in NNPCL, are recalcitrant and unwilling to stop their economic sabotage, the Center for Accountability and Transparency is calling on the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to arrest and prosecute every one of those that have committed the acts, the heinous act of economic sabotage and violated the international sanctions imposed on the crude oil of Russian origin. We further invite the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission to investigate Betis Energy Limited since the dirty fuel it distributed in the country has caused them, has caused harm to consumers in different forms, including economic losses occasioned by damaged automobiles and generators. The National Environmental Standards and Regulations Enforcement Agency, NETRE, must similarly look into the impact of these tainted oil products on the environment to cause the cessation of further importation of such to make the culprit behind it face relevant punishments. Finally, gentlemen of the press, we all the prize cap coalition comprising the G7, the European Union and Australia to activate targeted sanctions against Matrix Energy Limited and all its officials and accomplices for violating the sanctions against Russia. Give him crude. Give him crude. Because he have in mind that Nigerians are suffering one of the, in fact, the bane against Nigerian economy and the protest that was over was that the price of oil was astronomical. If the president could drop the price, it would have gone a long way to solving economic issues. But they don't have the political will to do that. So I am advising the government that they should supply Dangote refinery with crude so that they can produce and the, the price, I am sure, will be reduced and the economy will be better for it. So how will the federal government reposition our oil industry? Uh, that's left for the government. As I have said earlier, building of refinery, which Dangote have already taken over, uh, upon himself to do. So all the federal government needs to do is to support. They have been preaching refurbishing of uh, refineries for a very long time. Not only this uh, Tinubu uh, session, for even since uh, time immemorial, every coming government will say, one of the items I'm going to do is I'm going to refurbish uh, uh, refineries and I'm going to reduce price of fuel. None have succeeded. So if the government have political will to, if they are not willing to reduce the price by themselves, let them supply the indigenous refineries, the crude, to, to refine, to refine. And I'm telling you that the price of crude, I mean, of oil will reduce. Apart from that, they are saying they are going to refurbish, they are saying they are going to refurbish uh, uh, refineries. We have not seen that. This is what we have seen, that the refinery, the Dangote refinery is what we are seeing. And the masses have hope in that. So let the government, since they don't have political will to refurbish refinery, let them supply Dangote refinery with crude oil so that you refine and give Nigerian oil that is cheaper. And I'm telling you, this is the, is the main thing that would reduce the price of everything. No, no protest, no agriculture. This one will bring down the price of everything. Thank you very much.